Hey there YouTube, it's Cheech's Dippin' Channel again, and we have a redo review. Um, previously, like, I don't know, a couple months ago or so when I first started up my channel, I think my first video was on Grizzly Mint Long Cut, and it was an absolutely horrible video. <laughs> the audio was all messed up on it, and I had no idea what was wrong with it, but it turns out that the, um, the mic in my webcam wasn't turned on because there was the mic on my headset for like music and everything that was plugged in so the mic was like way off my desk on the floor and then it just didn't want to work so I'm on my iPod right now and uh, in the Ranger as you can tell it's got it's pretty cold out right now but everything's melting so it's not uh, it's probably like I don't know 35 out got a little bit of ice rain and snow but Grizzly Mint Long Cut, one of my more favorite dips. If you already watched my last video, um, you already know that I don't like the fact that it's a little bit drier than most other dips. But the flavor on it's great, very minty. I've only taken one pinch out of it so far. Don't want to spill it, but you see, you know, it's a little not as moist as straight or others. Um, my main dip that I've been doing like almost every day is straight but my straight video the audio still wasn't that great but the mint one was way worse so I figured I might as well redo this one instead. So I'll throw a pinch of this in there. Ooh, a little bit too much. There we go that's a good size. I'm no professional at putting lips in. I can't uh, put it on my tongue only and then flop it in there. It doesn't work for me. I've tried it and I swallowed some, so it wasn't. I'll just stick to putting it in there with my fingers. I, yeah, I watch some some people's videos and a couple of my friends can just take a pinch and put it right on top of their tongue and then go like flop it on in there I can't do that no way <laughs> I mean good for you if you can I'm sure it makes it easier and quicker packs it in better than popping it in with your fingers but um I know you're pretty much disappointed that I don't have a mud jug I got a nice little water bottle spitter but um get my license about three weeks or so I've already been looking at mud jugs I think I'm gonna get a camo one or the rebel um, confederate flag one Either that, I think I'm gonna get uh, a blue and black one as the the second thing because uh, you can see the color scheme of my truck blue and black. It's a light, it's lighter than a baby blue on the outside. It's like uh, I couldn't couldn't tell you what color. It's lighter than baby blue though. It's a nice truck, two wheel drive. Um, not lifted yet, but I'm going to throw a two-inch body in it just to make it look a little bit meaner than it really is. Um, yeah, if you saw my spit, there's no, no brown in it at all. Like, watch. If you saw it hit the back there, it's white. I mean, I'm not sure if it's because there's not as much, uh, nicotine in this dip or whatever it is, whatever the case. Um... Hey. Oh, okay. It says it on the side now. It used to, with the new tins, um, I'm not used to it because I haven't bought a new tin of mint in a long time. But on the back there, it doesn't say the um, the amount of American and foreign tobacco on it. It says it on the side right there. So it says 91% American tobacco, 9% Brazilian tobacco, which I did not know that they put Brazilian tobacco in this. It used to just say foreign tobaccos, which means who the hell where it knows where it came from. It could be fucking China. Who knows? <laughs> uh, my lips been hurting me pretty bad lately. I throw about five dips in a day. They're a pretty good size. I mean, there's no no hoggers or anything, not like a horseshoe. But um, they're pretty good size dips. I mean, they fill up my fingers pretty good and... I don't want to throw too massive one in so I can't 
friggin' talk to you guys, but... Oh, yeah. A little bit more of that brown spit now that it's not in the center there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, about the, uh, the tobacco. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, I haven't had a bag of Red Man or anything in a, a while, so I, I don't think I've... I remember what it said for where the tobacco comes from in that. I'm not sure if it's American or whatever. But um, where I live in Massachusetts, most of the uh, broadleaf tobacco that's grown gets shipped out to like other places. Um, there's a, a big, um, what is it called, a exchange trip that happens at my school where um, people from the Netherlands come to Massachusetts and stay with kids that are, they're, they're all like my age, um, they stay with kids that are in my grade, it costs like two grand or something to do this, but they stay with you and you take them on field trips and they go to like Boston and they go to New York and see the cities around here, and um, then like the next year you go there if you have like the two grand or whatever to spend on the trip, and you get to explore all of the Netherlands and stuff, and the... Um, a couple of my friends bought cigars and stuff from there, and it even said um, Connecticut Valley Wrapping, which is pretty cool because that means that the the the, <sighs> the tobacco from Connecticut Valley, which is where I live, um, it's right around here. The broadleaf from here gets shipped all the way there to wrap in their cigars, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like some of... Uh, the best tobacco in the world or something for cigars that's grown around here. Um, most of the things, most of the plants that are grown are um, broadleaf. They used to do dipping tobacco or, or I don't know what it's called, the specific name for it. And they do corn. Lots of, there's a lot of sweet corn fields and um, they go some cabbage. I don't know if you could see in the back field back there. There's a field in the way back behind that tree line. It's not my field, it's my neighbors. Um, they have... They have cabbage growing in there. And before they had some organic sweet corn. And they gave us a couple of bushels of it. It's real good. Real good. Um, it was very sweet, you know. Like... Nice and juicy. And um, most of the fields are... Like the farmers around here know what they're doing. So... And the fields give a great place to ride sleds. If you ride four-wheelers or snowmobiles, living around here is pretty good. We have uh, Mount Toby, which is a mountain. It's a small mountain, but it's got all trails throughout for, like, hikers. And the trails are packed down from the four-wheelers and snowmobiles, so they're all, like, wide and everything. So every now and then you see people walking up there. Most of the time they're hippies that are camping, but they usually don't give you shit. For driving around, but I mean, they build their freaking uh, stone walls from all the little stones they find around, and um, they like, try to block the paths. And it's like, oh come on, we're the ones that maintain all the fallen trees and stuff. I don't know why you got to do that. And one time, I even had some some guy bitch at me for driving in the the trails there, and I was just like, we're the one that's ma maintaining everything here, and we take care of all the down trees, cut them up with chainsaws, move them off the trail, take the wood out of there, split it. Like, we pack it down, make sure there's no brush in the way. I don't know why he had to bitch, but had to find something to bitch about, I suppose. Uh, it's thin the grizzly mint. Isn't as dried out as most of the ones I've had recently. Uh, last time I bought a mint tin was probably, probably about a week and a half or so ago. And uh, still great flavor. If you love minty things like minty gum, it's a great dip for you. Great dip. Um, tons of flavor. The juice, this, that's not all from this. I had a straight dip before, but um, spit's not very black. It's like light tannish. I mean, there's not that much juice that comes off. But if you have to work, like I said in my other video, it's a great dip for you. Very tasty. And um, you'll see the moment. Some more videos from me recent, uh, soon, sorry. Alright, see you YouTube, have a good day.